Uh, today I'm reviewing 2015 BMW 428i. This is a car that we are going to keep for our trip. And there are two reasons why we're keeping this one. Um, one is we need a vehicle to tow behind our motorhome. And number two, uh, this is my wife's car and she likes it. So that's good enough reason number two. This is an upgrade from our 2011 328i and it has some features and improvements that I like to point out. 428i convertible X all-wheel drive. Uh, one of the <laughs> problems and uh, what are we trying to do? Uh, uh, how are we going to go about that? The problem with this car is that it's all-wheel drive and since my wife wants to keep it that means the only way to tow it behind our motorhome is we have to either uh, tow it on a flatbed trailer or enclosed trailer so there's no dolly we can't we can't pull it with the two wheels on the ground all wheels have to be above the ground so it kind of creates the challenge but just a little bit uh, just a little background we are kind of narrowing down of getting um, into our motorhome and heading out uh, to see the country and travel uh, the states for, for a while and this is the car we chose to take with us. It's a 428i, 2015, and uh, it's all-wheel drive, so that kind of presents some challenges, which we'll point out. When it comes to convertible, uh, we do like convertibles. They have a lot of uh, advantages, especially when you live in a war warmer climate than here in uh, North Carolina. It's early March. It's about 60-some degrees right now. It's a gorgeous day to put the top down and, and uh, enjoy the sun. So... One of the reasons we keep in the car, of course, my, my wife likes it, so that's, uh, that's good enough. So let's look at some characteristics about the car. It's a 2015 428i all-wheel drive. Uh, we are up to about 120,000 miles on this car, and I want to show you how a car looks and, and so far our issues or what I like and uh, what I don't like uh, about the car. So let's take a look. Styling is something that uh, takes a little while getting used to it, but after a while I, I kind of like the curves of it. I kind of like the new design. Uh, new looks uh, more muscular than the, on the 3, three series. So, like I said, it get, I get used to it. And of course the color is, uh, this is the only color that my wife was interested in, so therefore that's what it is. So, what we have is... Just uh, some numbers, it's a four-cylinder actually. BMW has gone into uh, four-cylinder, they're dropping six-cylinder. So a uh, two-liter tur twin turbocharger, 240 horsepower and about 259 pounds of torque. Not as lively as, as our six-cylinder, but that's the world. That's the world we live in, so that's, that's what it is. It's, uh, I do have a comparison. With my uh, with our other car, so if you can, I will attach the the comparison with our 328i that we we have sold recently, and so some contrasting contrasting uh, with with this car. So I find that styling is 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 acceptable, especially if you if we get used to it. Uh, and of course, the hardtop is the only convertible we would drive, and uh, BMW is really good. And it's a little bit over-engineered at times, but it does it does seem to work. One of the reasons you buy a car because it has it has it's well built. It's a quality car. This car will do from zero to sixty anywhere between 6.3 and 6.8 seconds, depending which review you are you are reading. But like I said, our previous model 328 with the three-liter engine and 230 horsepower actually had a 10 10 horsepower less. But it seems to me it was a little lively, a little sportier. But it's still plenty of fun. Anything under seven seconds is considered quick enough. So obviously we like the car, we like the styling, and uh, there are some other features that we like as well. So one of the features is that, of course, if you have a um, good battery in your remote, you should be able to open the roof with the one one push button uh, press and hold uh, probably takes about five seconds or so but you have to be you have to be really close I'm talking about a few feet from the car I want to open the roof to show you 
the, uh, one of the things that we do like about the car uh, it's just gonna take about 30 seconds total to to open it or to close the roof so I want to show you what the BMW did with uh, with the trunk and how they make it more more useful and uh, user-friendly so when you go in the back you open the you open the trunk things look very tight and I'm in the, I have a two suitcases that I wanted to show you so on top of your trunk there is a button as a lift gate by pressing that button it raises the the glass piece and the roof contraption and opens up your trunk to expose your luggage so then you have your safety safety lock mechanism which you lift and that exposes the two suitcases and I'm going to take these suitcases out to show you what actually fit in the trunk so this is what came out of that what came out of the trunk this is one one large and one medium suitcase that all that fits inside here another benefit that the BMW has done is they really reinforced the car and they created a now there's a pass-through area in the trunk if you have uh, skis or anything else much longer it actually does fit in the previous model they were not able to to do that because I guess the area was too weak and BMW is sort of like like a Volvo they're all about all about the safety so just wanted to show you what they call what is considered utility so when when done with the with the luggage you go back to push this button here and that lowers the trunk oh I gotta get my safety and the trunk comes down and it's ready for a roof operation great feature we really like that another feature we liked is this is this knickknack here I don't know what BMW calls it it's a it's a wind uh, deflector or reflector and it actually works it's about $300 um, option and what it does somehow as you're driving down on the highway speeds it prevents wing swirling inside the car and it actually makes it makes it easy to drive at a higher speed with the with the roof down uh, reduces the noise level your hair stays in place and it actually works and I don't I, I think even when it comes to the mileage uh, improves the gas mileage to somehow because your car your back seat is not acting like a, as a brake so that that screen is another another great option that uh, that we appreciate and we like that's the sound of an inline four two liter twin turbocharged 240 horsepower BMW engine um, we managed to get about 30 miles on the highway I think that's what it's rated 22 city about 30 31 on the highway we did get us as high as 33 but it is possible to average 30 miles a gallon even with the roof down and driving nah, about 70 70 miles on the interstate so great mileage but I do kind of miss the six cylinder you can kind of feel it on the road so it's not as not as fast it's not as quick because the engine is smaller it's 50 percent smaller even with the two uh, turbochargers it still has to has to work harder but it does like to rev engine is lively likes to rev there's no there's no issue with that and it's just uh, something to do with I think uh, saving the environment or or something very clean front a little bit more accessible than than usual car I guess because it is en engine is fairly small so so yeah that's a hundred twenty thousand hundred twenty thousand miles on the car uh, no issues yet but just uh, 
change oil every 10,000 miles and um, uh, that's about it. Tires are 225, 45, 18. An 18, uh, 45 profile is about as low as I would go. The car is stiff enough, but it's not over stiff. So it handles the bump and the road imperfections better than the previous uh, 3 Series. But 45, I would not go lower profile than 45. Otherwise, you just like a riding on the rails. And I, at my age, I'm not crazy about that. So. Yeah, if, if you like the 4 Series, we also have a test. We did the comparison test with our 328 we had earlier. And I'll enclose the link of that as well. So you can kind of check that out. And um, are not following us yet. We are getting ready to hit the road with our motorhome and travel the country and we have to kind of narrow down and this is the car that we chose to, to take with us. So when it comes to transmission, I basically find two useful ranges. I use comfort most of the time and I use a sports mode and I don't bother with the Sports Plus and Eco Pro because it makes it it makes the car very sluggish and uh, that part I think it's a little bit overkill I'm not sure what it does the rest of the the rest of the car is is a straightforward of course being a convertible having a heated seat is is a nice feature because on the coolest of nights you can drive the uh, roof with the roof down at 40 degrees and and you, you, you roll up the windows turn a heater on and uh, a seat warmer and it's just a just a beautiful beautiful drive you can really get to get to drive the car the stern knob operation is a bmw standard they've been i think the seven series was the first one that came with it as long as you keep it dry you know do not leave your car open and get this wet because that will there's too much electronics going on in here i know because i ended up replacing one of these uh, on our previous model um, uh, one of the things we're not crazy about it, and that's a pretty much standard with European cars, is the cup holders. Uh, the Europeans are not quite uh, good at designing the cup holders. There are two up front, and there are two in the back. Well, whatever that qualifies as a cup holder, but that's that's what it is. But so the beauty of this, of course, it's a it's a two plus four, meaning two adults and possible two other adults, and. Um, and their luggage so but of course the hardtop convertible is another is, is another big plus so other than uh, cup holders which we don't care about a car car drives great love the operation of the roof it's flawless uh, despite uh, 120,000 miles on the car already everything works uh, as supposed to uh, sometimes one may think it's a bit over engineered but that's what the that's what the Germans do so so great car so far we love the we love the colors of course the this color was particular my, my wife likes it that's her favorite color it's a i'm not sure what the color official is but some light light blue uh i know there's don't you don't have to leave me a message that i know what the color is color code is printed but that's that's fine i'm just saying so we're gonna drive now in the not a super uh, eco pro we're gonna drive in the sports plus and all that does in my opinion it just changes gears too fast and uh, it doesn't give much real performance we'll take a quick little drive that again in the super plus now I'm gonna change that into sports mode we'll see if there's any difference
I can't tell much of a difference. Now we'll do Eco Pro. Eco Pro basically keeps an engine from running up and like it wants to stay at 2000 rpm so so the most useful most useful drive for the daily driving is comfort level comfort zone uh, acceleration is sufficient and that seems to be the best So great car, great car for weather like this. North Carolina, March, 65 degrees, sunny day. There you have it. If you like this video, consider subscribing. Follow us on our journey as we start our motorhome travels and we'll be having this car with us as well. Thanks for watching.